Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today what I have for you is a FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Pack Opening for Foot Birthday Team 2. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could channel 20 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 700 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Get a comment in as well down in the comment section down below to help boost the video in the YouTube bar. Now, if you didn't already check out Monday's video, you did briefly show you some of the lesser quality packs that we've got saved up in today's video. We've got a minimum of 50 packs to open from objectives, SBCs, ranging from 5k packs to 100k packs, 50k packs. We've got 11 times 81s, 5 times 83s, all this sort of stuff. So make sure to sit back, enjoy today's video. We'll be doing a pack and play at the end as well. So any decent players that we get, we'll put them into a squad. We'll play one or two games as well. So make sure to drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. Well, let's get into it. We'll start out then with the 5k packs. Now, on the day of recording, this is currently Tuesday, the 4th of April. Virgin Media has had so many problems with their internet and even mobile data over the last, really, 24 hours. So, if there is loads of cuts suddenly in today's video, it's probably because it's gone off again. So, I'm recording this currently at quarter past seven. It's gone off already about 30 times today. The first pack... I mean, it's not great really in that one, is there? And while we are opening these packs, I am doing a no man left behind. So any duplicates, whether they be 75 rated non-rares or 86 rated, uh, obviously rares and, you know, potential walkout, then... Whatever happens, I'm going to be putting them back into SBCs. Probably the 80 plus triple pack, whatever it's called. I'm not really too sure, but they are probably going to be going into that. Second pack then will be a premium gold pack, a 7.5k pack. I think this is. Can we maybe get a board out of this one? Nope, it is back to back non rares. This time it is a Dutch centre mid from PSV. That is a Verman. We do have, like what I say, over 50 packs. So maybe not every pack is going to make the cut. Just the pack where we get the players who are going to be in the team. I'll definitely show you them packs and anything else. It really depends on the pack look what you are going to see in today's video. But pack number three, then we're going to go with a small gold players pack. Six golds, one rare. We're guaranteed a rare, at least on this occasion. It is going to be a Brazilian right winger from... Is that Benfica? That's David Neres. I mean, it's not great, to be honest with you. I'm currently in Division 5 rivals, but players like that... I still don't think it's going to be good enough. Next up then, we're going to open a two rare gold players pack. Fingers crossed we can get maybe a board out of one of these. And you know, we've not had a board so far. This time we're going to get a Ukrainian right midfielder from Girona. That is going to be... I mean, I'm not even going to be offensive and try and pronounce that. Because I've no idea how you pronounce that. I don't even know what league that is, to be honest with you. Alex Moreno's not a bad shout considering that he's got 88 pace. I mean, he can't really do anything else apart from run. He's actually in the Spanish first division. I think Moreno's probably going to be the first player to potentially make the team. We are still yet to pack a ball. We're going to open a, smi uh, a smile, a small prime gold players pack next. This time we've got, what on earth is this? It's a UECL man of the match. We have got a player from FC Basel. I didn't even know. I'm going to presume that's the... I was going to say Europa League, but it's CL, isn't it? So I've, is that a conference league maybe? That maybe makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, I didn't even know that was a thing that was in packs, to be honest with you. I mean, surely he's got to make the squad. Six foot one, three star skill moves. I mean, he might make the bench, maybe. I mean, this Luis M Miller card's not bad. He's quite well rounded, but, you know, again, not great. No duplicates in the last pack, so getting straight into another small, rare gold players pack. Can we get something decent out of this one? We've got an in form. This time it's going to be, I want to say that's Moroccan at centre mid from Sampdoria. That is going to be a Siberia whose card doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. Team of the week. I'll take that. I don't think that's the end of the world. He could be a bit of fodder after today's video. And Naki Williams in there as well. Tezzy is a decent centre-half with some pace. I quite like that, to be honest with you. Don't mind that whatsoever. We'll take that. These small, rare gold players packs seem to be producing some decent players so far. On this occasion, then, we are going to get another German player. This time, it's a goalkeeper. We'll take that. A walkout. Why can't we just open loads of these for the remainder of today's video? An 86-rated goalkeeper is certainly going to make this video a lot easier Trap doesn't really link to anyone we've currently got in the squad. Any danglers in there? We get a Lema in there as well. A Dest in there. Again, I've got his upgradable card. Barak. Again, I don't think that's too bad, to be honest with you. Next, we'll open one of these small Electrum players packs. I don't usually get anything good out of these, so I'm not expecting to get anything good, to be honest with you. This time, we get a French centre mid from Real Madrid. That is going to be Camavinga. Again, not a bad option. Probably makes the bench, to be honest with you, because the two centre mids that we got with the Inform and Lema at this moment in time, but we'll have to see later on in today's video. Certainly makes the squad though, Camavinga's not a bad option at all. Next then we're going to go off one of these 384 plus player packs. We need something good out of these. Fingers crossed we can get a walkout. On this occasion we're going to get a Croatian centre mid from Chelsea. 
It's going to be Mateo Kovacic. I thought that was going to be Luka Modric. It's Kovacic, which means the other players are also going to be 84 rated. Who else is going to be in here? Anyone meta? We get a Munayin and a Mason Mount. Could that have really gone any worse, to be honest with you? After that disappointment, then we're going to do an 82 plus rated rare player pack. Just one singular player in this one. Can we get a board? Can we get a walkout? We're going to get a Brazilian centre back, which is good, from Aston Villa. We'll take a Diego Carlos. We need a centre back at this moment in time, and he's very good, to be honest with you. Decent pace, decent defending and physical. He's passing and dribbling. He's also not the end of the world. Four star weak foot, 6 1, medium high work rates. He certainly slots in at centre half for the time being. Another two rare goal players pack to come next. We need really a right midfield at this moment in time because we've got no one who can currently play there. We need a Spanish central midfielder from Atletico Madrid. Saul is just... We've got Bear. We've got a lot of central midfield options in Kovacic, Mount, the Inform, Camavinga. Daniel Marlon, though, is not a bad option to play up front. I'll tell you that for free. That is not a bad option at all. Right, this time we're going to do a rare goal pack. 25,000 coins is the value. You normally only get three players, though, out of these packs. This time, though, we are going to get a French centre-back from Frankfurt. I want to say that is Indica is not a bad player to get at all. He'll probably slot next to Diego Carlos at this moment in time. Any danglers in the pack? Not really, to be honest with you. I mean, we get a glove and another free pack. It's a goal players pack. They're good. They're not... You I think you only get one rare... But they're normally really good. I think Indica, though, certainly makes the squad. Next up, then, we're going to go with an 80 plus times 5 player pack. Can we get a board at this one? Still looking for a right midfielder. This time, we get a French centre-back from Bayern Munich. That's going to be a Lucas Hernandez. That now provides a bit of a complication. Because we've now got three very good centre-halves in Indica, Hernandez and Diego Carlos. Any danglers in the pack? We get two informs. I don't think I've ever seen that. Two informs when you only had f five players available. I mean, this guy doesn't look too bad apart from his high attacking work rate, but we've packed the same inform twice in, what, about 10 packs? Something like that, 15 packs? That's crazy. Right, then, let's do another one of these 380-plus players packs. Fingers crossed we can get someone decent in this one. On this occasion, we are going to get a Portuguese centre mid from Wolves, that is going to be a Ruben Neves. Just far too slow, really, to make the side. Probably not even going to get on the bench either. So, oh, Carlos Sola, that's not bad. He can play right midfield as well. He has a chance of making the squad. Back to the 380 plus rated player packs. Can we get something decent out of this one? We are going to get a English CDM. This time, it's not from Manchester City, it's from West Ham. That is nice. I was going to, was going to say that's rice, but it is also nice as well. We'll take that. He probably makes the bench. Anyone else in there as well? He will also get a strong link. He will also get a strong link to Mason Mount. We've got Mazarui in there as well. He's definitely going to be good enough to start right back. And we've packed this Conference League man of the match card again. I mean, he's untradeable, I think. Does he, is he worth anything? He's worth about 16. Yeah, he doesn't sell for min price. I'll tell you what the worst thing about this stupid card is. Because he's not actually a gold card, you can't put him into any sort of an upgrade SBC. And because he's 80 rated, he's not going to be good to be put in into like an 83 rated squad. So I'm just going to have to discard him. That, that seems like the most pointless card in the whole of FIFA history, unless you're an FC Basel fan. Bit frustrating. Let's get underway with another one of these packs then. This time, we've still got 37 packs to go through. I've been sat here for nearly an hour, and we've barely got down any of these packs. So this time, we're going to go for a Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack. We are going to get a walkout. We are going to get, at least it's a rare it's going to be Kale or Navas. We'll absolutely take that. Another option to play in goal. Probably a little bit better than Trap. And I think he's going to start, to be honest with you. Although, when I have previously had Kaelor Navas, he has been a bit bad. 83 plus double player pack. Guaranteed two boards. Can you give us a walkout here, Sports? Please, something good. English, it's probably not going to be good. To be fair, Grealish is not bad. But again, for FIFA, he's just a bit slow, isn't he? If he can play attacking midfield, it's not the end of the world. We've got Tenali in there as well, who is good. His normal card seems pretty decent. Grealish is... Okay, might make the bench. Tonali. When we've got so many good central midfielders, I think we're going to have to play a diamond, aren't we? For those who are currently interested, this is how the team is currently looking. It looks pretty decent, to be fair. We've still got over 35 packs to open as well. If there's anywhere that needs to improve, I'd probably say we need a striker or an English or Premier League central midfielder for a bit of chemistry. And Arky Williams is currently the only player with no chemistry in the team. So while we have basically built a Premier League squad with a couple Bundesliga players in there... 
I think overall that's not too bad to be honest with you. I don't mind that whatsoever. Let's open another rare gold pack. This might be the one that we got for maybe my playoff reward. So this one might be tradable. We get a Spanish goalkeeper. So he's not going to be usable. Although it's David De Gea. We've had three very good goalkeepers. I'm pretty sure our only walkouts have all been goalkeepers. We've had Trap. Navas and now David De Gea. He's not going to get used because Navas is just higher rated and a little bit better. If Morales was a striker, I mean, he can play a striker, but he'd probably get more chance of playing. He's not going to play at all, though. I mean, Antonio Conte in there is quite ironic, but not a bad pull there in David De Gea. Let's go for an 81 plus times two pack. Maybe we can get something decent out of one of these. We get another in form. Don't be that bloody player again. This time it's going to be an Australian centre mid by the name of Irvine. Is that Jackson Irvine? I mean, I feel like I've vaguely heard of him. Did he play in the World Cup, potentially? We had a Palhinha in there as well. It is Jackson Irvine. He plays in the second division in Germany. How many Australian players have played in the second division in Germany? I bet you that's not many. I think we're going to do another one of these 83-plus double player packs next. We got two decent players out of the last one. Can we get a walkout out of this one? We get a Croatian left midfielder from Tottenham Hotspur. It's going to be an 84-rated Ivan Perisic. Something tells me he's probably going to struggle to be 80-rated next FIFA. Also in the pack is a David Silva. I mean, that's... That's not gone well, is it? I don't think either of them players made the squad, to be honest with you. That one's not great. We've got quite a few of these 81 plus times 11 packs, so we'll get one of these open for you right now. Can we get a walkout out of this one? I expect these to be absolutely shocking. Another Croatian player. This time, it is a walkout. We've got Brozovic, another midfielder. Finally, we've got another walkout. It's just a shame that, again, he's probably going to make the bench at the absolute maximum. Maybe Lehmannau doesn't even make the squad. Anyone else in there as well? There's some good options in there. But again, they're just all so slow. We are slowly making our way through these packs. A 284 plus rated place to come out of this one. It is an inform. Can this one be something decent? It's a Uruguayan cam from Real Madrid. We've just got inform Valverde. What an amazing pull that is. That is fantastic. 91 pace on an attacking midfielder. I mean, I think he's more of a box to box with that shooting. But we'll absolutely take an inform Valverde. I feel like he's going to be worth a little bit. Any danglers in the pack? We get a Memphis Depay in there as well. When on earth did he move to Atletico Madrid? Valverde's not even 50k. Not, not even 40k. I mean, I'll definitely take it though. Valverde and Depay, both of them go straight into the team, don't they? We're going to follow up the last pack with another one of these three 80 plus rated players. Can we get something even anywhere near to the quality of the last pack? Is that going to be another walkout? It's going to be another goalkeeper walkout. This time it's going to be Edouard Mendy. Any danglers in the pack? We get room and class. Yeah, just not... Not very good. It's another walkout goalkeeper. Is that like our fourth or our fifth? Let's open another one of these rare goal packs. And they haven't been great so far. Fingers crossed this one can be a little bit better. We're going to get a German goalkeeper. Don't be another walkout goalkeeper. It's going to be a board. It's going to be Bauman. Not helpful whatsoever. Any danglers in the pack? Uh, there's a Locatelli, but he's just far too slow. We'll take a Hawk and two Shadows, though. That's probably one of the highlights of the video so far. Let's do an 82 rated plus rare play, because there's only one in the pack. I doubt it is going to be anything half decent. It's a Spanish left wing. It's going to be Ayurazarable, that fella. Let's do one of these five 83 plus rated player packs. This one should be good. We are going to get maybe a walkout, a French centre back. It is going to be a Raphael Varane. Only 84 rated. I mean, he's good at pace, defending and physical, but his passing and dribbling is absolutely woeful. I mean, again, that's not bad. Arujo's, Arujo's not bad. Varane... Yeah, I think we I think we can work with that. Now, as Araujo and Solo are both duplicates, I'm going to be putting him into the, the 84 rated squad for Bamba. It does also mean at this moment in time we're getting rid of Sancho, Grealish, and I think Hernandez is in the squad, but I know Sancho and Grealish are currently on the bench. I'm going to hope we either pack them again or pack someone better. It's a gamble I'm willing to take, but if it means we get Bamba done, and it also means that we then... Uh, don't have them duplicates anymore. I think it's something that we might as well do. Bamba is an okay option. We might make him onto the bench in my actual first team. Because for those who don't know, I don't really play Ultimate Team all too often. But I've been playing it recently. It does now mean we've done this SBC though for completely free. I know the requirements weren't high at all. But you put like a, 
Hunter or maybe a Dede on him, and I don't think he's the end of the world. He, he might make his way onto the bench, like what I've said, but uh, we'll store all them in the club. We've still got like over 25 packs to open, so make sure to stay tuned for the remainder of today's video. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure this is certainly not going to be a short one. Let's get in to another pack then. We're going to open pack number seven, whatever pack they So two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is a mixed players pack this might be the one we just got from completing that SBC. it's going to be a comni ball card or is that a libertadores either way it's not great anything in the pack whatsoever the answer is no that is one of the worst packs i've ever seen let's do a mixed players pack then once again can we get something decent out of this one i mean it's a silver player god that's shocking isn't it on the bright side in that pack we've packed a bradford player We'll take a cheeky bit of Aboisa. Right, back to the 380 plus rated player packs. These have been okay so far. Can they maybe make them a little bit better? We get a Belgian goalkeeper. I, I actually give up. I give up. Why are the only walkouts that we're getting goalkeepers? I mean, he's better than Navas and we need some La Liga players. So he's probably going to come into the team. But why on earth are we packing so many goalkeepers? And everyone else in the pack always seems to be shocking. The last time we did one of these 81 plus times 11 packs, they worked out pretty well. Can this one work out pretty decent for us? I don't even know what this is. It is sort of a Europa League man of the match. It's going to be Feyenoord's Koku. His card's not bad, actually. He might replace the Kovacic that we just got rid of in the SBC. Any danglers in the pack? Anything decent in here? Uh, oh, that, that, is, that is very bad, isn't it? Apart from Koku. That is shocking. Two rare gold players packs. I've nearly been recording for two hours. Just opening these packs. And I've just packed Neymar. I mean, what even is this game? That's probably one of the worst packs that I've opened. And we've gone and pulled Neymar. To be fair, like, from the packs that I've opened, the best players that I've pulled have been out of the ones that I didn't really expect much from. That's the best player I've probably packed all year, I think. I mean, he's not valued at all, but... A first owner Neymar to go along with the Inform Valverde. It's not bad, is it? You just know, though, that when I get to the better packs, we're definitely not going to pack anything out of that. We'll get probably a non-board out of the 100k packs. This time, though, from another 80 times 3 pack, we are going to get a Chiesa. See what I mean? This is why we got rid of Sancho and Grealish, because we've got Chiesa and Neymar. Although Neymar should definitely be starting, but I don't really see how he fits into the team. Any danglers? Palhinho and Kufal again. Piss off. Let's do a premium Electrum players pack. 12 players, 6 gold, 6 silver. All rare. We are going to get a Spanish CDM from Manchester City. It's another walkout. It's another midfielder. It's a shame he's got 58 pace though. I mean, he might make it onto the reserves if he's lucky. We get a Sommer in there as well. When on earth did he move to Bayern Munich? Another 3 times 80 plus pack. We're going to get another... American, oh, Morris, 85 rated striker, 94 pace, 85, his card looks really good to be fair for an 85 rated, anyone else in the pack, no, can play right mid, left wing or centre forward, I mean he's got two star weak foot, if he were four star, four star, his card would be really good wouldn't it, how's he got 90 physical? 97 strength. This man's going to be bullying defenders. He's definitely making his way on the bench. Let's do one of these 3 times 84 plus packs. They're normally pretty decent, these. Can we get another walkout? That's this time not a goalkeeper or a defender. It's going to be a Trent Alexander Arnold, 87 rated right back. Although, doesn't really have the stats to play a right back. Probably better than no Ken Mazarui, though, if he's going to get a little bit of Ken from Varane and Moreno in there. Any duplicate, not duplicates, danglers. I mean, you got your tip. Trent probably makes the team, doesn't he? Oh, Reese James. This card on FIFA is not good at all, is it? That card is not good at all. I just realised I opened that pack sticking my tongue out. We've packed another inform. I mean, I'm at that point now where I'm just like, they can just be discarded. Realistically speaking, all these packs should be providing a foot birthday. If we don't get at least one foot birthday from all these packs, you know how mental that'd be? Do you actually understand how insane that is? We'll take a Lataro Martinez, though. We'll absolutely take that from an 84 plus single pack. Lovely stuff. Well, wow, we've got a bit of a selection headache now. Who's he play up front with? Maybe he plays up front on his own on no chemistry. Ten packs to go, then I think all these packs are at least something of value. Starting out then with this 25k pack. Unless it's someone really good, I'm not really going to be bothering putting any of them into SBCs. We get an Ivory Coast CDM. We've got him from Sangari, 87 rated. It's another absolutely insane midfield option. An 87 rated inform is certainly not something we're going to turn down. Odegaard in there as well. Oh, this is tradable. 
Oh, that's nice. How is an 87 inform that cheap? Right, let's do one of these mega packs now. I don't think we've done a mega pack so far. Let's see if these 35s are any decent. We have got a, another Europa League man of the match. Is that going to be Tapsoba? Oh my god, he's 88 rated. And are you wait for Europa League man of the match? We seem to be packing some pretty decent players. And again, I don't know if this is tradable or not, but we'll take a tap sober to Stegen in there as well. It is actually untradable. How is this card 30k? I mean, he's 6'4", medium high. I, I He's probably going to start in my main team, to be honest with you. He looks really good. Any duplicates in here? We have got... A couple nobodies. We'll take a tap sober though. Well, the last mega pack paid out massively, so let's do another one. Can we get something as good as... We finally got a foot birthday! I don't know who this is. It's Onana. We finally got a foot birthday. The whole purpose of the video. We finally got one. It's taken us to get right through to the good packs. The mega packs are paying out today, and we have finally got our first foot birthday. It is going to be Onana who is 5-star, five 5-star, five Syria goalkeeper, only worth about 30k. I mean, either him or Sauer are probably the worst ones, but we'll take a foot birthday. It's taken us long enough, finally. Because it's a foot birthday themed video, he's going to have to play over Courtois. Forget the fact that Courtois is higher rated, or Nan has a foot birthday. And we're going to get straight into another 81 times 11 pack. Can we get back-to-back -back foot birthdays? No, we can't. A walkout, though, would be nice. It's going to be another Kalor Navas. Gonna have to go put him into an SBC now. That's not really what I wanted to be spending my time doing any more SBCs. And this stupid inform again! Right, we just did actually complete an SBC towards the 92 rated Gatu. So we so we did actually get this rare mixed players pack. I don't expect to get anything good out of this. We're gonna get a Spanish central midfielder, 83 rated Luis Alberto. I mean, at this stage, the squad we've currently got, don't think he stands any sort of chance really. Sure many in there. That's nice. I'm never going to turn down a shoe of many, but realistically, he's never really going to be good enough. After that, though, we've got some more good packs to open. We'll get back to the 35k packs. They seem to be paying out today. Can we get another foot birthday, maybe? We're not. Can we maybe get a walkout then with a Portuguese central midfielder? I'm sick of the sight of Ruben Nevers. Five packs to go. We're going to do a 10 times 82 plus rated pack next. Can we get another foot birthday? Unfortunately, we can't. We do, though, get a German central midfielder. From Real Madrid, that is going to be a Tony Cruz. We'll take another walkout, absolutely. 88 rated. We always seem to pack a cheeky little bit of Tony Cruz. Anyone else in the pack as well? I mean, not not really, to be fair. 35k pack is the fourth to last pack we are going to open. No foot birthday again on this occasion. A Brazilian centre-back, though, from Chelsea. We'll take an 86 rated Thiago Silva. Lots of fodder in today's video. We have been able to complete a lot of SBCs for free, but we did have a lot of packs to open, to be fair. Apart from Thiago Silva, no one else really in the pack. Anyone in the duplicates? We do get another Luis Alberto, but I'm pretty sure he is also untradable. No, he's not. He's actually tradable, so that's nice. We are able to sell him on. Here we go, then. Two 100k packs and a 50k pack to end today's video before we go into the actual play part of the pack and play. We've got another foot birthday, ladies and gentlemen. It's an Italian central attacking midfielder. We have got a Piscina. It's not great, but it's another foot birthday. How am I going to get him and Valverde into the same team? Two foot birthdays pulled, though. Is very nice. It probably is the two worst ones. And we'll absolutely take that. Four star, five star, six foot. I mean, he's only worth about 20, 25k. But again, we'll take it. It's not the end of the world. We've got our Grealish back in the club as well. Let's put him on the trade pile. And let's go open these 200k packs. So with us getting a foot birthday from a 35k pack and also a 50k pack, surely it's written in the stars for us to get one out of this 100k pack. We don't. It's got to be at least a walkout, surely. French right midfielder. Oh my days. 84 rated in a 100k pack. That's worth nearly £20, I think. Imagine you spent £20 and you got one player who's 82 rated or higher in the whole pack. Alright, we've got a few 83s in the duplicates, but that is so poor. Here we go then, the final pack to open in today's video, another 100k pack. Surely we've got to end on a foot birthday, it only makes sense a year. It is some sort of team of the week though, it's going to be a right back, this time from Real Betis. It's going to be Sabalai, again though, doesn't look too bad to be fair, from Real Betis. Anyone else in the pack, 86 rated inform and a Barella Hazard, I mean is this guy worth anything? No... It's, again, it's not bad, but it's certainly not great. This one's actually untradeable. I don't really know what's going on here, why this one's untradeable. I'm not really too sure I've got an untradeable 100k pack. 
Either way, let's go build the final team and get into some Rivals games. Well, I'm 99% sure this is the best team possible out of all the players that I pulled. Do you think this was worth it? The amount of packs that I opened, the quality of some of the packs as well. We've also got a very, very strong bench in there. Let me know down in the comment section down below if there is any players that I have missed off. But overall, I don't think the team on paper is too bad, to be honest with you. So I'll quickly do my custom tactics and then we'll get straight into some games in Division 5 Rivals. It might be one, it might be two, because I don't want this video to be three hours long. But we'll have to wait and see how the first game goes. Will be Didier Drogba to get us underway. He's already going to sub someone off, maybe. Oh, what? What? What's happened there? Well, attempt number two. Let's hope this guy doesn't quit at nil-nil straight from kickoff like the last guy. I mean, at least we'd have to play against that god squad. This one's probably going to be just as good, though. I'd say on paper that's slightly weaker. That's certainly more beatable than the last one, in my opinion. A couple of players who I don't really rate very highly. I've no idea who that left winger is. Is that maybe Harry Kuehl? If I were to hazard a guess, that's who I would guess it at. He's got Jurgen Klopp as his gaffer. Let's get into it. It'll be Kenny Dalglish to get us underway for today's game. I think I'm going to just play the one unless we end up with like a rage quit inside the first 10 minutes because I have a feeling this video is already going to be very long and we're in already here. It's already one. It's still nil-nil. Come on, Morris. The big American striker rounds the keeper. Chip it in there. Oh, what? he's nowhere near the bloody ball. Oh, no, no, no. Defend. Oh, what a save, Onana. What a save. At the moment, I've got foot birthday Lafont in my actual team. But Onana keeps pulling off saves like that. He might find himself in there very soon. He shoots on the volley. Goes well wide. Oh, he's, that's a bad mistake. Pacina picks his pass. Martinez finds Morris. He missed the last chance. And he's been brought down there. Referee waves playing. It comes to Martinez, though. Shocking first touch. Oh, the referee has awarded a free kick there, though. I'm good at free kicks in these areas. Barella stood over it. I mean, I know his stats aren't great, but I reckon he's got the ability to get this up and down in time. If we can try and green time it as well. We did green time it, deflected off the wall out for a corner. The thing is, though, we all know how good I am at corners. Barella, ball in. Looking for Morris! And there's 1-0. Morris with the overhead kick. It might be a little bit of a broken game mechanic, that. But he's only 6 foot. It's not like he's a 6 foot 5 man mountain. We'll absolutely take that. 1-0, 17 minutes on the clock. Very good start to today's game. Oh, Moreno, deliver to that back stick. He does. Morris! That's 2-0. I think it was Morris anyway. It's number 10. Is that Morris? Pretty sure that was Morris. He's not going to rage quit at 2-0, is he? He has done. Oh, we're going to have to play another one, aren't we? We're going to have to play another one. We're going to do it for the content. I mean, this team seems very good, to be fair. From what I'm seeing so far, I'm liking the look of things. There's proof that I am in Division 5. I'm progressing though slowly to Division 4. We'll have good Rivals content coming soon. Hopefully in the next week or so. Going back to the last game there. The fact that I've made that guy quit inside 24 minutes. And Neymar didn't even get the chance to probably come off the bench and even start warming up. Tells you everything you need to know about this team. Pacina though, I must say for an attacking midfielder, he's very tall and very clunky. That's the only real negative I've got to say so far about the team. Everyone else seems to be doing okay. But a lot of the, the way I play FIFA goes through my attacking midfielder. And Pacina is very... Very clunky. I'm sure a lot of you are probably not watching the video for a Piscina review. This guy's team, though, is in a 4-5-1. That always scares me when someone's playing a 4-5-1. Um, it's, it's okay. It's, there's some interesting picks in, like Pope, Emerson, Sabitzer, but then he's also got players like that uh, Saudi Arabian attacking midfielder who's got, like, 99 pace. I think that team's slightly weaker than the last one, though, but the last guy weren't very good at FIFA. Either way, let's get underway for the second game. Oh dear, he's got a little bit of space here on this uh, near side. Al Oweran into the box. Ball in, he's got a tap in there. And that's somehow 1-0 completely out of the blue. That's his first real chance he's entered into my penalty area there. And that's 1-0 completely out and off in there. Completely against the run of play. I felt really confident in this one. Uh-oh. 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 Come on, just see it through to half time. If we don't let him score another before half time, we've let him score another. Oh, what a block. Brilliant block. I mean, how, how much longer do you want to play referee? There's meant to be one minute added on. We're nearly in the third minute. Get rid of that. That'll be half time, surely. Surely, referee. Thank you. Um, I feel like I've, I've been the better, to be honest with you. I feel like I've been the better in that half. Don't really know how far myself behind. Look at the stats. Look at the stats. 10 shots to 4. 10% more possession, I think though we are now going to make some changes, we might even make all 5 at the break to be honest with you because Moreno, not great, he's going to come off for, um, he's going to come off for Koku and we're going to put Valverde to left back, 
Martinez has been shocking. He's going to come off for Chiesa. Neymar is going to come on for Piscina. Uh, Sangari's been really good, but Tanao's going to have to come on because he's a little bit unfit. And Dicker's going to come on for Varane. And they are all of our changes. There you go. Five changes at the break. Tells you everything you need to know about my thoughts on that first half performance. Valverde going to left back. We either win or I think we get hammered here. Go on, Neymar. Go on, Neymar. Get in there. That's one back. That is one back. That's exactly what we needed. Neymar with a brilliant goal there on his debut for the club. No. Don't let him sweat it. Oh, my. How does he just keep scoring such bad goals? What am I actually playing at, man? Oh, referee. Come on, man. Come on. Is that a red? I feel like that's a red card. It, it, it was a red. That, that free kick was shocking. This guy's down to nine men, though. Got no cent He's got one centre-back on the pitch. He's offside, surely. Referee, what game are you watching, man? How is it 4-1? He's got nine men, man. How on earth is his game 4-1? He can't get another. Oh, my God. How's he got through that? No. It's five. I'm losing 5-1 to nine men. And he's gritty on me. I'm losing 5-1 to nine men in a game I deserve to be winning. <laughs> Chiesa, he's so bad. He's so slow, man. What is, uh, the touch his defender got there took it round the goalkeeper. But apart from that, Chiesa though has been absolutely shocking. <sighs> well, full time in the second game. It's a 5-2 defeat against nine men. Can we maybe pull one back? No, because I don't. I actually don't even have a comment for that. I don't even have a comment. We should have ended it after the first game. Well, this video has taken an absolute age to record. I'm not kidding when I say it. I'm currently on 2 hours, 40 minutes and 10 seconds into recording today's video. If you have enjoyed watching, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could turn it 20 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 700 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below to help boost the video in the YouTube algorithm. In terms of my favourite player that I used out of all them, I'm going to probably say Sabalai, the right back. I was quite impressed with what I saw from him. Tap Sobo is decent defensively. Most under the Wellman was probably Piscina, not a fan of him at all. Martinez up front, he was pretty poor. Or Nana, not a fan of him at all. So it's a shame that the two foot birthdays were probably the two worst players on the team. I thought Moreno did all right for an 80 or 80, to be fair. Some players didn't even get minutes. Kiers are actually worst player I've ever used on FIFA. He's shocking. 91 pace, you are having me on. But thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon for another one. Peace.